everybody and welcome back to Bourbon Blind where the guys drink what y'all pick. So please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section and I will get your bottle on the show as fast as humanly possible or you can email me bourbonblindtasting at gmail.com. So I want to give a huge shout out to our Patreon viewers. Um, our, 35 patr our $35 Patreon viewers, Seth, JR Northcutt, Kevin Leroux, and Whiskey Cross. Thank you so much. $10 goes to that... Our $10 Patreon viewers, James Eldemeyer and Alex Sadler. And then also our $5 viewers, Roscoe Jenkins, Peter Hendrickson, Daniel Johns, Bobby, Ryan Harding, and Jasper Lorenzen. So please let me know if I butchered your name. I am so sorry. I totally appreciate everything that you guys have uh, put forth and contribute to our show. We would not have the lights. We wouldn't have half the stuff in here or any of it actually because uh, this studio was paid for 98% by Patreon and um, our super chats and all of our lives and everything else. So I couldn't be more happy to be in this studio. Couldn't be more happy to have the support and the love from all of y'all. If you love what you see tonight, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Also, if you love us, go ahead, check out our Patreon page and also uh, to see the bottles that we have and what we rate them as. If you haven't seen this show before, the guys are going to be drinking tonight uh, Rabbit Hole, and I'll be talking about that in half a second, but they don't know they're drinking this. Um, we do tastes based on what is in the glass instead of the hype of the label. So everything here is blind and um, they'll tell you after we reveal it, uh, we'll tell you what the retail is on it and uh, also blindly what they're willing to pay to get the bottle. Adam, one moment, notes. Adam Edwards and Rabbit Hole were so nice to uh, give us a bottle to do on this show. We did do a pop the top. I absolutely love this stuff. I'm super excited to see what Kyle thinks of it. Uh, they gave it to us to do blind and Kyle and I couldn't wait to open it and did a pop the top. But if you wanna check out their, if you wanna check out their uh, distillery, there is a virtual distillery tour on Bourbon Blind Nation over in Facebook. Great group of guys and gals who just love whiskey and uh, are willing to give you some recommendations and show off some bottles and what they're drinking tonight. Also, if you would like to see a uh, chit chat with us live Friday nights at, uh, usually we're doing about 8, 8 p.m. right now, I think, maybe nine. Um, check us out. We usually schedule them uh, ahead of time. You can check us out on Facebook and find out when those happen. They're usually every Friday night. And with that, I'm gonna go get the guys and let's see what they think of the Daringer. This is a sherry finished, uh, PX sherry finished bottle. And it is absolutely amazing. Um, I can't wait to see what they think of it. So with that, I'm gonna go get them. I think I've rambled at y'all long enough. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bourbon Blind. I'm Kyle. And I'm Mate. You know what's up. We taste whiskey. We give it a price tag. We'd be willing to pay for a bottle without the hype of the label because that shit influences you. It does. So um, this here, I that's really dark. I'm. Oh wow. Yeah, I have I have high hopes for this. Ooh, that's a lot of color. That's a lot of color. Oh wow. See what the legs do. See what it do, what it do. Straight away, some dark fruit. Yep. Caramel. Caramel. Burnt sugar. Toffee. Ah, uh, toffee. Yes. This is just, just good toffee, like caramel toffee. Yep. Oh. Not like the stuff you get on your apples. Mm -hmm. Not that kind of toffee apples. This nice. is just dark and creamy. Nice thick legs. Nice thick legs on there. Oh yeah, it does. So. It just looks thick in the glass too. It does. With the color. Anyway, I'm gonna get in here. Cheers. Cheers, sir. That was a good one. That was a <laughs> Hey, it rained. I need a second to process that. I'm, I'm still trying, I'm still figuring out the finish because it's still going. Oh yeah. It's definitely still going. But it started out super sweet. And then there's like this really, really strong peppery 
aspect. Yep. And then it goes back. Like now it's going back more into a sweetness, sweet heat something. Or wow, I'm getting, I'm getting some sort of peppermint on there. I mean, that's like that peppery aspect I was getting. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> I mean, I do love mint, so mm -hmm. not mad about that. That finish just goes on. Yeah. And it's and super on. dark. The finish is extremely, extremely dark. Um, I'm... I almost no. want to say like a... <laughs> I almost didn't want to. I almost wanted to say the finish that it's still hanging out. Like a sherry port, um, almost Armagnac kind of cognac. Like super dark sweetness. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, just, it's mouth filling. You, you just look, I'm taking small sips as you can see there. Mm -hmm. But you take the small sips and it just coats your mouth. And it goes down, and then it you just continue to taste incredibly it. Incredibly oily. And you breathe out through your nose, and you get these flavors coming out that just fill up your mouth. It's This is pretty good. That's not bad. <laughs> so water kind of killed it. A little bit of sweetness in there. Um, I, eh, I'd leave the water out of this one. It didn't hurt it. Like you said it. that five seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, here we go. It doesn't taste bad. It just kind of muted everything. Granted, I put in a shit ton of water. Is that between a slowed and a F ton? Yes. Hmm. Beep. <laughs> it's okay. I have noises for that. <laughs> yep, no, I agree. Leave the water out. Yeah, it Whatever just this is, does not need water. It just mutes everything. Will save you the pain. Mmm, that's so much better right there. All right, what are you thinking on proof? I'm, I'm I don't see much over a hundred on this. I don't. I was gonna say right about a hundred, maybe between ninety and a hundred. Like, there's that's a lot. I'm thinking, there's a lot of flavor, but almost no ethanol whatsoever. Exactly. But it does have a lot of flavor. Like it's punching way above its weight class. Last week, we thought it was 110, 115 proof. It was almost 140. So That's right. You know, take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's so dark. That is so just in your face. Like it's been punched in the mouth kind of flavor. It's big. <sighs> Plums, raisins. Which, again, makes me think something finished, sherry, cognac, port, something. Yes. Yep. I do love. So I've been messing around with some sherry. Uh, I got a really nice 26, 28 year something uh, sherry. It's so thick and oily, and I've been playing with it with mixing different stuff. Um, yeah, and that's... Uh, but I do love a great... Armagnac. If you this, guys haven't tried Armagnac, I I don't know if it's because it just doesn't have the following that whiskey does, whether that's bourbon or scotch or Japanese or whatever. Right. But I have up there a couple of them that are single barrel, barrel proof, like 26 year Armagnacs, and they're like 130 bucks. <laughs> that's fucking ridiculous is what that is. <laughs> Like, just the nose on this. Yeah, is. I keep going back, and it's just. Mm. I get uh, so for good. me when I when I um, you know nose a bourbon or something. Usually, I get some nuances that are just off putting, you know. And you, right. you see those, and you get past those. This has none. <clears throat> no, I mean there's there's those things that you you're like, man, this is great. I just wish it didn't have. This yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Like you get the the young corn or the mm -hmm. um, you know somewhat of a sour note in there. This is just sweet from the nose. And since this has been, no, I do still get a little bit of that mint in there. Me too. So when we I'm say thinking, mint, it's not like a mint sauce or a mint julep type mint. It's no. just a 
it's a cool peppery mm -hmm. coating at the end of it. So I'm gonna say I'm in this 80 to 100 bucks. I'm gonna say I'm into this for, it's up with some of my best, I'm gonna say up around 160, 180. There's not a damn thing wrong with that. It's, it's freaking delicious. Quick, this is definitely so something. Get some more. <laughs> this is definitely something that we could sit down with after dinner and just enjoy a glass slowly, pick it apart. Yes. You know what I mean. This is not. Not that you couldn't couch pour that, but personally, I wouldn't. <laughs> you know what I mean. No, me neither. <laughs> um, it's yeah, it's it's something really, really nice. It gives me visions of sitting in the library. On our big leather couch. With many leather bound books. Figuring out how we're going to take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm going to call this Sex Panther. 60% of the time it works every time. <laughs> it is though. It's, it's freaking fantastic. Actually, I guess that stuff ended up sucking in the end, didn't it? Here we go. The big reveal. Do you dun, have dun, this? Dun, dun. Boom! I want this. Wow, <laughs> it is finished. It is in Sherry, PX Sherry, and it is 93 proof. Wow. That has so much flavor for a 93 So proof. freaking much. Now, I've never tried that before. Really? Uh-huh. Okay, now that they've said it, I'm coming in. I need this in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I meant to pour myself some, and I've been sitting in the sidelines going, come on, open it, open it, open I'm it. I'm not open sure it. I like it. I better try some more. <laughs> Just to check it's it out. It's freaking fantastic. It really is. Adam wow. Edwards over at Rabbit Hole. Uh, cheers you. to you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this bottle, uh, I can't say enough good things about it. If you've watched me live on Friday nights, we drink it quite often. So, um, and so Adam at Rabbit Hole... Uh, they donated this bottle to us um, for us to do a blind review on it. And I will say, I've had multiple distilleries contact us um, through Instagram, email, whatever. And they're like, hey, you know, would you guys review this bottle if we sent it to you? And I'm like, yeah, just so you know, like we, we do it blind. We, do it blind and, you know, we may bash your bottle to hell. Yeah. And, <laughs> I mean, I don't exactly say that, but I'm like, just so you know, like, whatever it comes out as is what it comes out as. And a lot of them be like, oh, okay, we'll get back to you. And then you never Crickets. hear from them again. But that's okay. Because um, they want you to give them a good review. Review, right. Um, I mean, from a business standpoint, I get it. Uh, so Adam contacted me. He's like, hey, man, I've been watching your channel for a long time. I really like it. Um, I'm an ambassador for Rabbit Hole. And, it is amazing. Um, we want to send you a bottle. I was like, cool. Again, just so you know, we do it blind. And he was like, cool. We fully stand behind our product. I was like, awesome. awesome. That's that's what I like to hear. So, um, in fact, yeah, and, he I are, and you're going to put a link in the comments somewhere or around in here somewhere. Um, I told everyone that there is a virtual distillery tour. Um, also, on our Facebook that group. was that was great. They did so good. On they that. did. He really did. He, awesome it was job. awesome. He took us behind the scenes in places that you cannot take people. Um, he was able to show us because uh, it was just a camera. Adam was totally shocked that we did this as a pop the top for starters. Um, we let it breathe for a little bit before we did it blind. Try and put a link to that up here. Yep, and uh, absolutely couldn't say enough good things about this bottle. Um, I, I'm super excited that and we did it blind. it held up to it blind. Yeah. 100 now, bucks, 150 bucks. If you I mean, weren't able to get a Midwinter's Dram. Oh. We need to do side by side. This yes. is your bottle. Yes. Go get one of these and forget about you didn't get it. Oh, this I wouldn't yes. forget about it, but it is Amazing. really good. Yep. We're going to have to yep. do a side by side. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I will make sure that gets in the list. Compliments of Mick. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah. Midwinters is awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, yes. it's yep. super allocated, super hard to find. Mm -hmm. If if you've been looking for one and that's your thing and share or not just Sherry, but finished bourbons is your thing. This needs to be I want to try that. Um, they did I'm send bottles to a few other uh, whiskey tubers, uh, whether it was the, the high gold, rye, or a couple other ones. I'm really glad we got that one <clears throat> because it's This is it's phenomenal. Awesome. 
I know a lot of their others. I tried your high golden, and you were a huge fan of that. I don't know if I've the had that one. The hot gold was really good. Was it? Really good. I'm, see, I'm a, the, the rye guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like rye, and their high gold was good. And I don't, um, I, I did not try this one. Yeah. This I'm pretty beautiful. sure this is the first time I've tried this, and I'm really, really impressed. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I right? see the it one. Mm. Yeah. Yes, you... <laughs> so, uh, what does this go as? I don't know if you said, you said 150 to 100 to 150. Do we have, I think hold on. Tell we have on notes. is about 70 bucks. Did he tell us? I have, ha, yeah, ha, ha. I have the notes right here. You have the sheet? I do. I wrote all over it too. Yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's comprised of 68% corn, 18% wheat, and 14% malted barley. We do not <clears> have <throat> a price point on this. So one of the things I found really interesting, they char their barrels over a wood fire. They uh, don't well, use like propane, which yeah. is obviously faster. I feel like wood fire I don't know if you have the barrels. control. <clears throat> well, you wouldn't have the control. You'd have to really know what you're doing. Yeah. But it's a definitely much more labor intensive, labor costly. When you think about the people process. making barbecues and using wood, but mm -hmm. the flavor is so much better. It is. Right? But that they, is true. you've got to get the right airflow, the right mm -hmm. amount of wood. Propane there. is easy. Yeah, propane is easy. And don't get me wrong, yeah. like I had, I had a propane grill for a long time and I've gone back and forth. Mm -hmm. Propane grill, you're just like, it's. Especially if you want to just cook some hamburgers or hot dogs or something real quick, you go out, fire it up, throw them on there, you're done. Um, charcoal grill, which I had to just have a circle Weber now, and if there, there's an art to it. There really is. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, they're up in Louisville, and um, oh, what else? There's they, a whole story that we can put up um, in the comment section. I'll have Kyle put this up. Um, they do 1.2 million proof gallons annually, yep. which is a lot. A lot. <laughs> That's yeah, a, so they have uh, the Cave Hill Kentucky time. Straight Bourbon Whiskey, the Boxer Grail Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey, Derringer yeah. Straight Bourbon Daringer. Whiskey, finished in PX Sherry Cask, and High Gold Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. I thought the High Gold was a rye. Was that High mistaken? Gold's a rye, yep. I must be mistaken. Um, turns Will Whiskey on its tail. So anyway, yeah, they're, they're doing awesome stuff over there at Rabbit Hole. They, they really, really are. And their distillery is gorgeous they did a it's a brand new distillery but they did it very industrial modern ish yeah um it's it's beautiful so, so here's what a friend told me they said if you take your wife up to kentucky to check the bourbon sites out you got to take them to rabbit hole yeah it's classy it's um really nice that you know so, mm -hmm. so your wife wants to go out for a nice dinner or something yep. like that they've got a classy establishment really really, really up class and take them to bardstown for dinner too yeah. just saying bardstown bourbon company uh yep. willet is supposed to have an amazing restaurant there too haven't been to willet yeah. but i've been to bardstown it's really good i think it's but, time to take my wife there <laughs> i would really like to maybe get a hold of them and do uh maybe a pick of theirs after Ooh, doing this uh, so adam yeah. if you're watching this please please big oh. hearts like like double big hearts i would love love love, love love to come <laughs> do a pick with you <laughs> anyway uh with that uh i don't know you want to yeah i mean that's uh our patreon members absolutely love every single one of you guys uh i know i say it again but you you guys really do make all this happen um and everyone if you're still watching by this point Wow. Cheers, Cheers to, to you. you. Right. I mean, rough. last year was rough. Rough, rough. I mean, um, we didn't have bottles. Like, we had all of our bottles boxed up for like a good eight months. So, well, I mean, the bar was supposed to take us three months and then it took us 12. It never yep. stopped raining. And then, COVID. between rain and COVID, we're here a you year later. You need to blurt that word out. <laughs> almost a year Almost a year later. It is. It's totally a year later. We are, it actually. Is too, yeah. You're right. A year and a couple of weeks later, yep. and we almost have a countertop on the back bar. <laughs> yeah. So I remember watching the Patreon and watching you put down the concrete. That was actually before I met you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're putting the concrete down, and then you're like, Does anyone know how to do drywall? And I'm like, Well, I'm not good, but I'll <laughs> come give, I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> yeah. Mick has been, um, I would say about 85% of this bar has been helped out by Mick. Mick has been over here screwing in nails, helping us get. 
cabinetry. Uh, I think there needs to be a plaque somewhere on this bar with Nick's, Nick's name on it. He's the one that sanded it and fit it together and, and made did. it look absolutely amazing. So this is like a big cheers to you, sir. Absolutely. And you, uh, we enjoy having yeah, you, um, but definitely enjoy all the help that we have gotten. Yeah, Mick helped with all the shelving. Uh, Mick probably built 70% <laughs> of that freaking back wall. So there. I helped a little bit, but I think the majority of it was Mick. <laughs> Um, yeah, the shelving, just absolutely everything. Mick has been instrumental. In and also, this. if you want to check out his little uh, man cave uh, bar stash, go ahead and head on over to Bourbon Blind Nation, and you can see what he's been up to. Well, I've we did in a year. Bourbon Blind Cave. Well, we did in a year. He did in like three weeks. <laughs> yep. so. Yeah, I don't get as much. But yeah, two weeks vacation. I was like, I've got to get this thing built. And you pretty uh, much did. And you did. <laughs> don't tell my wife. It's a workshop. Right. Oh, that's right. right. It's the workshop. <laughs> It's a workshop, not a, not so, a bar, not a nope, not okay. anything else. It's a workshop. It's the workshop. <laughs> so with that, tune in next Friday, noon central. Cheers and drink blind. Drink blind. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep on drinking. We want to give a huge shout out to all of our Patreon people. Absolutely, thank you. You guys are freaking magical. T-shirts at Teespring. Link in the description. Also, thank you to anyone who has ever supported us, whether that's either coming on a live, chit-chatting with us on a Thursday night, or if you just like to watch our episodes, we appreciate every one of you. Until Friday, noon central next week. Cheers.